So hi guys and welcome to tarot reading for this week. So this is now coming into the seventh week of our lockdown and I've been reading tarot every Sunday. So this is an opportunity really just to see what's going on for the week to uh, give us an awareness of what to expect. Uh, forewarned is forearmed. So what I've been realizing is actually sometimes when we pull the cards, we get an idea of what's going on. So thank you for joining me today. Um, it's always good when you're going into the unknown to go to divination. Divination has always been a big part of um, human human um, understanding of what's going to happen in the unknown. Um, we've really lost the art of divination in um, our Western culture. Um, you know, it was killed off really with the witches and, and the shamans. Um, but tarot has had a revival, as uh, certainly now, and I've been re reading tarot for 30 years. And I started doing these because for myself, I found them quite useful. And um, I felt it was a good thing to share. So it's only about 15 minutes. We're gonna pick five cards. And I'm shuffling the cards now just to um, break the energy up. So I did some readings today. And then, like with everything, you just tune in if you are reading your own cards and just ask the cards for their guidance um, for this week, what we need to know. And then I always cut the pack three times, um, which I'm doing now, and putting them back into one order. And then I pick a number, which is... I'm getting a three. Um, and so... When we when we pick that number, it gives us an idea of um, it tunes us into the cards. So let's pick a three cards for the first, which is where we are going to be this week. A, a card for the week. So one, two, three, and we got suppression. And I think this is kind of an app card. And um, this is when our thoughts keep us roped down, and we feel very suppressed. We can feel the energy suppressing, and certainly for a lot of us now, um, going into the seventh week. Um, here in the UK, um, you know, still um, unable to go to work, unable to really get our lives back together. Um, the thoughts can really start coming in now. And we can often feel very roped down by their thoughts. Um, my newsletter today, which I sent out, was all about going with the flow. And when we get too roped down by our thoughts, it can really start cracking um, our resolve or our positive mood, shall we say. And when we try and being upbeat and positive and everything's okay, um, and underneath it, the, th the thoughts can really be crowding in and you might be finding that it might be quite difficult this week to keep up that positive, everything's okay um, perspective. And that's okay too. It's just recognizing that. Um, and what the advice I offered was to stay in the present because in the present, it's a lot um, more easier to um, acknowledge and work with than worrying about what's going to happen in the f in the future or get anxious about what happened in the past so it's just being aware that the thoughts may be feeling quite ropey this week and quite difficult let's pick a guidance card for this week one two three we picked morality. This card has come up before. Again, um, a lot of the reasons why our thoughts might be suppressing us is the morality around the lockdown um, and how long it's been going on for. It could also be about um, how, where our values and principles uh, lie. So again, a lot of things coming up from the news around um, what's really going on with this, uh, with this uh, pandemic. And so it's really going to question our 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 belief systems our value systems and our principles again it's a cloud card so again it's around thoughts um so we could find that the morality of the situation might be really challenging you right now and therefore making you feel very very roped down and suppressed especially this, these are around issues of control as well how much we're in control of the situation um whether we've gone through it and uh we've got sick and got and got through it or whether we even ha we had it at all um, um remaining locked down with um the chaos still going could really be uh challenging us this week so let's pick another guidance card one two three 
we got awareness and I like this card very much it's about coming out of the shadows and really being aware so my um this card is really saying just acknowledge how you're feeling and being coming really aware with how you're feeling and I'm um, really owning how you're feeling it's about really you know if you're feeling like shit then just owning that and if you're feeling positive it's owning that too but if we all try and stay positive when underneath it we're really not feeling positive it's it doesn't serve it doesn't serve us. So it's really about coming out of the shadows and becoming a really self-aware with how you are really feeling this week and really owning how you're feeling without trying to put on a positive spin because that's what people expect of you or without trying to um, make light of everything because it's the situation. It's actually just becoming really aware of how you're feeling. Once you become really aware of how you're feeling, you can much more clearly understand your where your value lies and how those thoughts might be um, supported pressing you so it is about coming out and really um, understanding where you are in this and where your belief systems lie so what's the lesson that we've been needing to learn this week one two three it's fighting so again I mean these cards all seem to have a, the same theme again it's the cloud card we're fighting what we can't control. We're fighting government that we can't control. So it's really about taking off the armor and just accepting the situation and where you're at. Um, because when we fight the um, the the things, the, the shadowy consciousness, when we're constantly fighting, we can get very mentally and emotionally exhausted. And there really that really keeps us suppressed and the thoughts and everything keeps us roped down can really add to the emotional um, suppression and also the mental agitation so it's really about taking off the armor not fighting what you can't fight um not fighting what's outside of our control and just acknowledging um what we have to work with and not fighting um that shadowy um you know stuff that we can't you know that that you know we're helpless to do anything about and actually focusing on what we can uh, work with and what is in our control which is that awareness and it's um it feels like this is an important week to really go with the flow um to accept and acknowledge the flow as it is and um to stop fighting reality as it is and just accept it um for what it is and to use your awareness to work with it so what's a good moving forward card for this week so one two three it is the lovers which is a beautiful end um and the lovers card is about loving ourselves so really being kind to yourself this week um and accepting um things that are out of your control and um just really giving yourself oxygen this week you know that old saying you know give oxygen to yourself first before administering it to others well this is really a week to be kind to yourself the lovers um, represents loving self that's the highest form of love according to Osho and when we love ourselves when we administer oxygen to ourselves we can more easily administer it to others so please this week be really kind to yourself don't allow the external circumstances that you can't control um, stop you from actually just being kind and loving and surrendering to the situation acknowledging the things that you are in control of and things you are not and not using vital mental and emotional energy fighting the frustrations the agitations and the annoyances that might be coming up this week and they will be coming up the cars are very clearly saying it that the thoughts will create a lot of that suppression so coming back to love also loving somebody else um offering that love to others when we offer a operate as when we love others or we give to others we serve others we feel much better about ourselves too so um just um being kind and loving yourself this week is a really good way of moving forward through that added agitation and the last card that is the in the unconscious is the underneath card <laughs> and this is control which is exactly what this whole reading has been about what we're in control of and what we're not so that fits in very beautifully so for those who have just just joined in i'm going to do a brief recap so the first card i picked was suppression again suppression of thoughts where um where we worry and we fear about what's going to happen next and we feel very suppressed and roped in this is very much about also questioning our re morality our value systems um you know what we think is right and wrong um and how we're judging what's happening in order to overcome that, we have to go into the awareness. 
and really find that self-awareness to come out of that to really um see where we are acknowledge where we are and um and and actually be truthful to ourselves and stop the fighting this is the lesson we're needing to learn is taking off the armor not fighting what you can't fight accepting reality as it is and moving forward is to love yourself and to find that life love and to be kind to yourself really this week and finally what's underneath the, is this control this ele- this essence of control this concept of feeling controlled and not having an opportunity um, to actually have some autonomy over this control and that's what's triggering this 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 week so if you're aware of that then please do be kind to yourself um, take yourself into the present if you feel anxious and panicky it's going to be a, a difficult week this week I think it's going to be a very um, challenging week this week certainly these cards are indicating there could be some mental um, agitation and irritation and annoyances so um, if you need to remember this reading please go back to it on my YouTube and please subscribe to my YouTube and um, and be, being kind to ourselves this week will really help us to move forward um, more easily and more smoothly going with the flow this week is is the number one mantra um, to enable us to really navigate these coming turbulent waters this week I think it's going to get quite turbulent and breathing through so on that note wishing you all a wonderful week ahead um, do join me on Tuesday on my Facebook where I'm going to be talking about what is um, a shaman. There's a lot of interest in shamanism at the moment and um, a lot of people have asked me um, to do this talk. Um, So I'm going to do that on Tuesday and a healing cacao ceremony on Wednesday, which feels perfect timing. So if you are feeling by Wednesday or even by Tuesday or this week, very agitated, um, confused and needing some time to find out that awareness, come and join my healing cacao ceremony. Um, It's a really good way to dive in deep and listen to your own inner, inner wisdom hear your own inner voice and get the clarity that you need in order to move forward and also being kind to yourself. So thank you all so much for joining me. Wishing you um, a beautiful, beautiful week ahead. Keep well, stay safe and bye for now.